Uh, I'm just going to finish whatever I started yesterday. I can go. I cannot go beyond statement I am going to make. And the, the last statement I have made is this one here, where I point out something about something little about Prince Harry and Pierce Morgan. I think to finish this issue here, when it comes to Prince Harry in charging himself for as a head of the operations at Federal Bureau Investigation, Central Intelligence Agency, I am not going to go to Britain because they don't have Federal Bureau Intelligence agency running Britain, they have MI5. Would make any sense for me to even go into those issues. But the same things I was suggested took place in the United States of America, where Pierce Morgan does have properties based on Wikipedia. As to whatever it took place in 2011 at this location here that you see, let's go. Um, the two videos, however, the video you're about to see and another video that appeared right here that you see appeared at the same time during MK Ultra, Almost, almost, almost at the same time. Uh, would this be like a setup? Yes, Harry, would, this, this would this be would this be like Couldn't a setup today? How of Pierce Morgan and Prince Harry against me? <clears throat> well, the thing about it is that I just for the first time went through Pierce Morgan is biography here on a Wikipedia and. It appeared to me that Pierce Morgan, who was involved in MK Ultra since my, I don't know, childhood, was very, very much familiarized with my case. Now, this is actually quite quite impressive here, what he pointed me out from his Wikipedia. Um, 2013, one chance. But in 2013, I was thrown into the psychiatric hospital. <clears throat> 2015, entourage. 2016, criminal. If you read the stuff, I came clear about also 2016, what happened between King Charles. He ridiculed himself in front of the people from the other side of the ocean in the US when they observed him caught him <clears throat> being enthusiastic about getting me killed through the cancer issues mm, during MK Ultra it appeared that Pierce Morgan was <coughs> eventually my witness, not only my supporter. Um, what exactly, what part in it is there that I would embrace as factual? None really, because I don't know who is who until <clears throat> I get the cards laid down on a table entirely. Uh, and know basically about who, what, and this and that. I didn't have nothing from any of these people. I think it's um, a waste of words if I say I have gone through this all by myself. I have gone through much more than myself. This started when I was a baby, when I was a child. At one year of age, at nine months of age is when it all started. And what you see on here, in my eyes, it basically voids 
the nature of my case. It voids the nature of my... Uh, 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 I'm not going to say the nature of my case, but it voids the crime that British committed against me. Talking here about the British royals. I don't understand how you could go past somebody that destroyed Soviet Union. Somebody child that you were utterly compelled to follow in his shoes and act accordingly with his needs and even orders to get the Soviet Union down. Somebody who you alone, I'm talking about Prius Morgan here, I'm talking about the Prince Charles, Prince Philip, foremost Prince Philip, Queen Elizabeth, Princess Anne, Prince Andrew, tried to humiliate in front of Baltic politicians, in front of Caucasus politicians, in front of polit other politicians, I'm not going to even say who, because I don't want to get them in trouble. Little countries, states, and even big countries that border Russia. How you go and you avoid something like this and you turn child into terrorized, beaten up adulthood uh, and force one to basically settle despite your struggle to destroy me, to make impossible for me education university at uh, I don't know car assembly line somewhere in a Germany for a minimum wage in the line of workers that don't have any kind of fucking education I did accomplish some education I didn't get university, but I did become mechanical engineer and technician. How do you go and you work your way to destroy, basically erase his life? You continue to erase after him like a death on every step of the way, assisting these politicians whom you were forced so that you would not come out as their ally, uh, their... Um, enemy ally how you go and you erase this kind of issues from one and you make one basically stateless not only homeless but stateless they're showing me two citizenship first one the one I have fought for in my own country in my own homeland in Slovenia and then the second one through the psychiatric issues literally and then the second one overseas in the US I don't understand any of it because it's, you know, it's my job to destroy you. You're evil. It's my job. It's my job to destroy you. It's my job to ensure that I do the same thing to you. You have done to me in every aspect of life, not only in what you're watching right now. Eventually is going to go into the courtroom. It will become real, as real as anything in life can get. I know what the courtroom means because you labeled me as a paranoid schizophrenic in 2012. I know what it means to eat psychiatric pills. I know what it means to sleep on the right side so that that heart doesn't explode from the pain doesn't explode actually i know how real life can be i know the difference between the virtual stuff and between the courtroom don't worry about it you did this to me you more than deserve it talking about the british royals here every aspect of life that's my job my job is something that prince harry demonstrated me in 2011 I had no idea whether Pierce Morgan 
was located in this place here in 2011. It appeared to me he was located in 2011. And where is this place here? This looks like in Britain. Uh, what do I think? I think that, listen, I think that invading the privacy of the royal family is utterly reprehensible. And on that, I share Prince Harry's opinion. I just wish he'd stop doing it. What about you? Do you wish you hadn't done it? He said you knew perfectly. Uh, what do I think? I think that, listen, I think that invading the privacy of the royal family is utterly reprehensible. And on that, I share Prince Harry's opinion. I just wish he'd stop doing it. What about you? Do you wish you hadn't done it? He said you knew perfectly well what was going on. Is that true? He is, the main the part of the clip you is this one the here. The main part of the clip for me, for my case, is this one here, this here. Is that true? This is where Prince Harry delivered me in 2011, had me enter the premises of exactly what you see right there, of this building, walk with me from room to room, from one room to room. It appeared to me that was not only about the Piers Morgan is, this is a fine building, I don't know, office, apartment uh, but it appeared to me that Prince Harry also took me to the offices apartments whatever this is fine they have a fine uh, <clears throat> the interior they have a fine um, parquet I don't know how you say um, black I didn't do, <clears throat> I didn't do, um, <clears throat> you understand? I think it was something like this even. Two thousand and eleven, and was demonstrating me uh, how to bug. No, he did not demonstrate me how to bug. But he had, if this is in England, MI five with him. The same took place afterwards in the U.S. MI five with him, and would only point would talk to me, give me a reasoning why he would place a bug in a certain place, whatever, how he would want to have the whole picture done, uh, and would afterwards, MI5, obviously, in Britain, do the job for him. It is simple as this. We walked the whole day, and it was not one day, he would, rep he would repeatedly brought me back to this location, this, I know very well, this place, 100% I know one. This is exactly the location, it must be the location. This sign that you see behind me always was there. Invading the uh, privacy. Behind uh, Pierce always was there. This street here is, is, uh, is a street, mm, this is where I have doubts about the Pierce Morgan, where Pierce Morgan would afterwards bring me. Uh, Pierce Morgan would bring me this street here, like in 2013 and so on, uh, and would give his speech something that you see right there. It would be rehearsed in front of Pensable. the lady that you see right there was on the picture. And on that, I Uh, Prince William demanded from me to see myself in Rowan Atkinson, uh, like uh, 
the figure Rowan Atkinson plays. And that too, I will discuss at the court. Is uh, what do I think? I um, 2011. Follow up afterwards with not what was Pierce Morgan on the picture immediately, but a Pierce Morgan appeared on a picture. Like few months later, like not really a few months later. I don't know. Maybe, maybe yeah. Maybe two, three months later, it would be Pierce Morgan that would appear in the picture. And this year could be also 2010, 2010, 2011. I think 2010 more likely. 2010. I'm gonna go with the 2010. 2010. White walls, the interior, um, like white, white walls, and uh, just like something like you see, like on external side, like like this inside, and uh, um, I am even thinking that because it was something that that he would move in the place that like that he would he didn't he wasn't there yet that he would move in there like that the pierce was not in there yet and i don't uh pierce had me in his offices locations and so on which is something i would have to go if of interest to police visit see and then give estimates then give my dates and this and that i don't when it comes to pierce morgan my internet service provider can assure you <coughs> i didn't waste any time on it i didn't go through pierce morgan's stuff he was involved in it um the only thing that, that the only statements i can give are the statements i gave It appears that Prince Harry alone might have been uh, stalked, bugged, uh, video recorded, caught in act. That's a possibility. However, I don't know, because the whole thing between uh, Prince Harry developed into this video here, sometimes in 2013. However, he's prepared a statement following Mirror Group's acceptance of the remainder of his claim and their agreement to pay substantial Harry, Duke of Sussex, couldn't be present today. Prince Harry is lawyer. Um, I think he was hired like in 2012, right? If I would say 2012 that he was hired. He had another guy, he had another person, and I think that he hired him. Something like this, like in 2012, huh? How about that? So from that location, I was delivered to this location, like sometimes like in 2013, you understand me? And what you see out there is exactly that goes along based accordingly to MK Ultra memory, abilities of one to memorize the events with one another. It, it matches one another. I am not going to go and say who is, what is, you know, to me, based on their interaction, based on the length of their involvement, given that Pierce Morgan is a British citizen and that Pierce Morgan got along with Donald Trump very well, too. I would not be guessing. I mean, here in the Wikipedia, in, in a minute that I went through, not on a Wikipedia, but it's the Google that provides the answer. That's interesting. It's, um, it's Sergei Mikhailovich. It's Sergei Mikhailovich that provides the answer. You know? 
I didn't have to go through Wikipedia. I am not going to go read that stuff. Uh, maybe when the time comes, I am going to take, I'm going to copy paste that stuff inside of my blogger so that I can have the data so that it would, the Wikipedia would not change the account or whatever uh, as they do sometimes. Um, it says right there that uh, Donald Trump and Morgan are not friends. But it appeared to me clearly that Donald Trump and Morgan were friends. That the two were friends. That the two, uh, Donald Trump actually even um, supported Pierce Morgan in front of me, demanded from me to embrace him, whatever the issue was that, for whatever reason, I, I did not like Pierce Morgan. I don't know what, what the fuck went on, uh, what, what, what exactly went on with it, but I did have certain, whatever, reservation in respect to Pierce Morgan. I was supporter of British royals during MK Ultra. If that gives Donald Trump and Pierce Morgan uh, and to uh, like people that go against British royal family? No, not really, because Donald Trump religiously followed up with uh, he religiously followed up with uh, with British royals. He complied, not complied with British royals. I mean, do you know how many times I was with Donald Trump unofficially at Queen Elizabeth? It was a Queen Elizabeth that elected Donald Trump for president. What the fuck you think? I mean, these people in London decides about who the next president is going to be. And they did the same thing with Joe Biden. Understanding the British and American politics is almost a virtue. Due to, as Freddie Mercury stated, no one really knows anymore what the truth from lie. Now, my English is not native English, so you will excuse me for that part. Um, I don't know anything else I would say. The two afterwards very much interacted during MK Ultra. Uh, my job, however, you all should understand. Well, no, she's not my job. My job, however, is what I told you at the beginning of this video. My job is to erase British royals. I'm not Pierce Morgan. I'm not Donald Trump. I'm not Joe Biden. I know when my existential needs, such as employment, became questionable because of issues I stated to you in this video. Because of whom? And Thereon, I know exactly what my job, what my purpose in this world is. My job is to erase them. My job is to annihilate them. My job is to destroy British monarchy as is. I don't have absolutely anything against monarchism. Monarchy? Uh, I am not going to even say, Ha, you should all be what you should all be and think and this and that. I would expect that monarchy is like portion of the society, part of the society that should absolutely be a cream of the ethics, the cream of fair dealing, honesty, uh, fairness, compliance with promises, with Rewards for earnest, honest work performed, 
the not a double dealing issues that I mentioned in this video. Obviously, I do not recognize British monarchs as monarchs of any kind. I do not recognize them. I recognize them as thugs, as criminals. I hate to use the word prince, king. I don't see in them fathers. I don't see in them brothers, uh, sisters, kids, grandkids. I don't even see them for what I was told how by them, by the British royals, how I should address their titles. They recognized being criminals to a degree when they would confess to me. It's not confessing, it's basically making toxic the situation somebody takes not advantage of, but you simply exterminate genocide, as was the case in my case for for no less than 52 years. They literally, excuse me for use, expression brain fuck with me in respect to how I should address them. What would be appropriate for them to even respond to the court invitation? And it involved their names, Mountbatten and Binzer and Saxe and so on and so forth with highly preferred prince and king, queen, and so on. In prison, people don't even have less than first name. In prison, people carry numbers. When they came out of the prison, if they came out of the prison, that's basically when they gain not only their names back, but also family status, statuses, work titles, if they're still entitled to, and so on and so forth. Criminals are criminals. My job, because of, if criminals, if, because of British Constitution, because of American Constitution, because of post-World War II treaties, is to recognize British either as constitutional, as a lawful, or a lawless society, literally through the court of law, by using every means possible to impact absolutely every everything that applies to human life, every every existential, absolutely everything whatever they have done to me, and they ran me into grief for no less than 52 years. That's my job. Do I recognize one as a lawful or lawless society? That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching this video. I'm not going to take inside against anybody in this case. I am not going to be viewing <clears throat> the issue from based on uh, on whoever stated what, what, this and that, I was brainwashed on how to see things. They would sit me in front of Wikipedia like this, in front of the computer, and they would just give me certain things. They would, would those would be written, what bothers me, this, this was in Slovenia. Listen, you have a politicians like this guy, It's a prime minister. Minister of Foreign Affairs for Slovenian State and bunch of other politicians that I do not recognize even as a Slovenian people. These are apprentices of Milan Kuchan. 
Milan Kuchan is the man who made war in Ukraine, not only on Balkans. He was the one who insisted and demanded Milan Kuchan was an individual who demanded Great Serbia, the so-called Great Serbia. Milan Kuchan was the man that who demanded, involved with the idea to create, just like is the case with Yugoslavia, out of Yugoslavia, big Serbia, also big Russia. Same thing that went on in the Soviet Union is the same thing that went on under the so-called Yugoslavia. His job was to exterminate me, exterminate us. I'm never ever gonna recognize this individual as a Slovenian. It is an individual whom British royals have befriended, became friends with, connected with, work with, and even their politicians have assigned as my fucking managers. As the rest, we don't have a politicians in Slovenia. Because the rest of the politicians in Slovenia that we have <clears throat> were and are the politicians such as Janis Janša. I already explained the issue behind him. is completely indifferent. There are even the people that worked in the same circles with the same people in the past. Those people... The money, the corruption is the God, is the Lord. I don't have anything else to say. Probably even worse. These were their managers, but these are not my managers. Uh, yeah, managers of genocide, managers of extermination plan against me. Yes, that it was in force for 52 years. I recognize that part. But, I know my cards now. I did not know my cards in the past. I do them now. So, my set, what I stated here, I'm not going to be waiting anything about who is here with what, with whom, and this and that. Uh, for me, based on what I have gone through, uh, the safest thing is, to side with myself you eventually in Slovenia when 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 you when you do the breakdown on how to see things and so on and so forth man this is the same shit like you uh, during MK Ultra is the same shit like you did in England because Russians and British not only had this house but um, there, in my case, from my point of view, now I've come to realize there was no difference between between the two because they worked so much together. They have different issues that pertain to different issues. Uh, they have different uh, agendas for different issues that pertain to different issues. But when it came to my to me to my case, there was no there was actually no. Um, No difference. In my case, it it just um, they work all together. I was not convenient for any side. I was not convenient for anybody. For them, the best off would be if I would be dead, and they worked hard on it. I didn't have any kind of, you know, when it comes to. I'm just gonna stop here. When somebody's going to do something, I lost 52 years of life that I would go and sell myself to any kind of stories uh, or that I would go and take sides in it. And the issue is such an important issue. Surround myself with people that I would not even know who these people are. What's happening? Uh... 
when tomorrow I don't even know if I'm going to be alive due to health problems they created, and I have no idea what they created. That would be simply stupid thing. It would be stupid. It would be naive of me. My job is to ensure my existential needs, secure them primarily, ensure that I have access not to the Medicare, but the right to visit physicians. The right to compensation. Through the court, literally. That's my job. My job is not, the last thing I need is to entangle myself controlled or guided each and every one of them by those who threatened my existence for no less than 52 years this is the last thing this is the last that I need that I'm going to be eventually end up grateful to somebody for something that is going to take over my case my struggle to stay alive and the picked one to the world as something that was not So I don't, I don't have anything, anything, uh, anything else I would add to this video here. <clears throat> Supposedly, these are actually even offices, I think, because these are offices. There's another media building next to it. There's another, what was it, uh, media or whatever was it. I should actually even know this building very well, then I would have to go and see uh, the Google Street Maps and stuff like this. Um, they were delivering me to this place for I don't know how long. Yeah, they were delivering me to this place for a very, very long time. So there's a possibility that Prince Harry was actually on the tape bugging the building. It's possible they set up MI5, MI6, maybe even Central Intelligence Agency at this place here. There's a possibility that Pierce Morgan has proofs about Prince Harry bugging him all the way. It's a very, very high possibility. Um, would I wait taking sides in it? Listen, you all receive your pay salaries. I have not received shit. I, I worked for genocide when I stated earlier the right to health services this is what psychiatrist Peter Kopp stated me in my face inside of this house where he barricaded himself with the police. You're going to keep calling about health assistance and so on. That's called psychiatry, he repeated to me. These are the people that were trained by the MI5. These are the people that were trained literally views on what is expected, how to be seen as literally by the Royal British Psychiatric Association based in London, trained by the Central Intelligence Agency with whom they would work arm to arm when they would hijack me to the United States of America, not only for torture, but to set me up with issues that would make me look like paranoid schizophrenic. Central Intelligence Agency killer hired from overseas to murder, basically. That's, that would be like a best definition for this psychiatrist, Peter Gopsch. Yeah, and these police officers that were involved in it don't fall far from the category I stated. Thanks for watching this video. Till next time. I missed the most important parts in this video. <clears throat> and uh, the video I did, I honestly am glad I have done it. Because it did not end there. It ended with the Prince Harry and Prince William.
suggested me the tool interacting with me during MK Ultra further suggesting me that Prince Harry is doing stuff like this for the sake of Pierce Morgan due to what Prince Harry insisted is a league of monarchists, pro-monarchists in Britain that would go out there and literally get people killed. He cited cases with judges that would go out there and get people. They would have people picking, picking up on people that do not embrace monarchism in Britain. And talking about the judges. Have these people delivered to the British courts? All the courts in Britain are known as the royal courts, from what I know. And then literally ripped them apart. Something that Prince Harry further insisted, even he had to interfere. British royals from London had to interfere to save the people of, well, the lives of British that... were under the threat of the so-called British monarchies, pro-monarchy movement in Britain. And so by giving Pierce Morgan such proof, as is this video here, a warning to the public, to the publicity, through the schizophrenic news sites, such as his mind, let's say, where it indicates 20 views, 29 views, 19 views, right? Because I don't fucking exist. I don't exist, right? I don't exist. I still don't exist. Well, one step away you are from being erased yourself. That's from my stepping and filing the police complaint, which I'm about to do. No later, by the end of this week, before Monday, Tuesday, then you're gonna fucking see how much I exist or I don't exist. If I existed or I did not exist. It. This is the case you're not gonna erase. This is the case you will never be capable to convince anybody in this world that there was something more between you and me than what is stated and demonstrated on this website. I take this as a terror against British people. It's an indirect terror using me to demonstrate what could be done to the people and not that they would go out there and save the lives of the British that, you know, for saying something against Crown. This is bullshit. This is a bunch of horse shit. And the same thing is being done in the United States of America with assistance of Central Intelligence Agency. If I'm in particular Donald Trump, two American people, through the use of Hollywood and so on and so forth, through the source as well established corruption channels so that Pierce Morgan would use this video to, to sound like a warning to anybody out there that he could use that second option and that's basically release video audio whatever of Prince Harry bugging Pierce Morgan was that meant also for British royals and so on? I don't know. It was done in the name of, from both sides, from Pierce Morgan and Prince Harry, in the name of peaceful retirement of Pierce Morgan. Pierce Morgan would go into retirement. He would move into the his YouTube the news he made, the announcement he had made. And from within, the Pierce Morgan would just... Uh, ceased exist according to his own words then the Pierce Morgan went on to stress his own issues about my being a racist and I don't know what kind of stuff problems he suffered from during MK Ultra trauma the poor man endured the poor guy poor fucking guy that's all there is according to this video here
I take it as a death threat. I will use this as yet another proof, a form of death threat that is indirect death threat, it's like a soft death threat. Prince Harry had death threats involved. Many. And this is going to be used just as one more, basically, uh, suggesting me. Well, how they are saving the lives, listen, how they are saving the lives of the people in Britain is that the pro monarchy are the one doing it all. Pathetic. The more I get to know Prince Harry, the more, the more pathetic it looks in my eyes. Frankly, this is a coward, this is a coward shit. I'm going to tell you what this is in my eyes. I'm looking forward, my friend, British, to meet you the court and go after your existential needs in this world. Because I need to know where your money is from. I need to know how much you have. I need to know how much you collect taxes. I need to know about your income. And I need to know why the British are entitling you to this type of genocide. Extermination procedures. Where in your, where in your chapters, where in your constitution, where in your laws is it written? that you are entitled to exterminate people in a way you did, your family, and you did with me. Well, I learned it from you. I guess I learned from the best. And now it's up to me, for you to see me real. So you're not going to communicate with the people through this schizophrenic website you have created yourself. One point twenty six million views, and well, I don't exist. Twenty views, twenty views per post is basically what I get. I get twenty per post. Now, when I'm going to publish this one, it's going to be again ten people that are going to come and see it. Yep, I'm doing it for those ten people. If you want monarchism in Britain, maybe you should consider another family. Maybe you should get yourself another family to, to uh, represent your values. I am not going to give you a break when it comes to Prince Edward. When it comes to Prince Edward, you're not going to get any break from me. You're not going to get any break when it comes to Princess Anne. Family, not only her, not only Prince Edward, but family. The same way you did to me, the same way you did to me. When it comes to Charles, when it comes to Andrew, you're never going to get any break from me. It's going to be international stage, wherever it's going to be. It's going to be a long case, as long as I'm going to live. I will remind of this case for people around the world to see what you as a British society are all about. Now, so that's why I said... Whether you're, going to, whether you're going to correct this or not, this is solely going to be your problem. This is not going to rest on me about whether you're going to replace them with somebody else or not. But for me, as it is, that's exactly the way it is. That's exactly the way things are. One mistake I have also made is this one here. And I announced I will do the speech for the sake of British at the United Nations. 
these families were all involved for British royals families in it. I have exampled you with the wrong I use the wrong example you dream, you dream about having it all but you can't I I made a wrong example these people are all involved in MK Ultra I will speak for the sake of the British I definitely will that are the real people that really are in a circumstances just as the people that are demonstrated in this video I do see myself in all social standings of the people in Britain I definitely do but these people that you see here these Brits were all involved in MKL I placed the wrong video uh, I read about this poverty in the Britain uh, and I feel with the people of Britain I feel with British I, I don't agree with it it's exactly nothing changes in respect to my views in respect to Britain British poverty um, I do believe that in a part this poverty is even being used to destroy my legacy which was a legacy to take down Soviet Union I relied heavily on pointing out standards of living in the West and have compared them with the standards of living throughout the Soviet Union, Yugoslavia when taking down Soviet Union and we also not allow that somebody is going to make sour picture to me like this from behind uh, ridicule me basically, humiliate me in a way turn Britain into dumpster where people would fear for their life from month to month basis and even to voice their opinion against those that are foremost deserved for their poverty using me I am not going to be allowing any of that stuff yeah so you can you can expect me as a real person as a real human being like you said you will not even believe me that I exist till you see a court invitation you will get one all I'm saying in this video is that it can be done all I'm saying in this video is that there is possibility of placing British royals monarchs such as Charles Andrew Edward and behind bars lock them up together with a William Harry based on the law based on a treatise the possibility exists that through the lawsuits their grandchildren and children be deprived completely of their financial means of the property so that they too could test the poverty in which they push me into in which many British people are dealing with on a monthly basis and Canadians and Australians and so on. you know that's basically what I'm looking forward to when it comes to real I'm not Pierce Morgan